All right, folks. I heard today at this uh, I heard today at this park. Just finished hitting that hot lot over there. <clears throat> Never really got any luck in there. I always find clad and junk, but I try to clean it out. As I've also found a few razor blades today. I found about five or six nails that were right on the surface. So any kid running around could have stepped on it, even through a shoe. So try to clean it out whenever I get a chance. But uh. Did get a good signal. It was like a 40 to a 44, and pulled out gold. First find with the AT Pro on gold, so marked 14k. Little kid's bracelet. First gold though. I'm going to go over there and hit that volleyball, sand volleyball court. That's where I found my very first gold with my Ace 150. with a 14 karat gold ring over there. So I'm going to try that and then hit around this tennis court. And I've looked on historical aerials. And even before the field house was here, they had the tennis court. And before the tennis court there was a structure over here in this corner so I've I have metal detected over there along that edge but uh, there's a lot of trash but I got the nail sharp coil see if I can go through that trash and find some goods so I'm gonna go through there go around the back side of the tennis or tennis court and uh, see what I can get probably hit this front area here even though you can see there's a giant power box there so may not be able to get close to that without my machine going haywire but uh yeah I'll work my way around this side around to the back and then probably finish up with the volleyball court but I got gold today first gold with the AT Pro actually first gold in a long time so I did find some gold in curb strips uh, using the Ace 350 earlier this year, but it's been a couple months since I found gold, so we'll start hitting this area, get back to you if I get anything good. Alright. Alright folks, well, <clears throat> I haven't had much luck today. I did work my way all the way around over here, did this little volleyball pit, nothing in there. Um, see, I've been playing some football out here, or soccer one, but I may swing out here a bit. Had a little bit of luck out here. Found some jewelry over here at the edge of this ball diamond, and uh, along that strip over there behind the field house is where I found some of the older finds I found here wheat pennies and a few tokens and stuff, but uh. So far today, the only good find is the little gold bracelet. So, may give it like another hour or so, and then call it a day. But uh, back over that way, there had to be some kind of uh, building or structure or something, just because there was so much iron, like literally, just I couldn't swing my coil and not hear iron. So really tough back there got a about a handful of modern chains some uh, pull tabs and stuff but uh nothing interesting I did get a presidential dollar when I was over at the tot lot so other than the gold bracelet that's about the other best find so far but I'm gonna give this a go for a little bit longer maybe work around this ball diamond here and then over that way toward behind the field house. See if I missed anything. But uh get back to you okay. if I get anything else. Decided to leave the park. I decided to swing starting down these curb strips. Back down that way, home. Got right here. Got a decent signal. About two inches down. And I got smallest sterling silver ring I've found. 
It's a small one, but it is sterling. It's marked in the inside right there. Underneath that dirt. I had to scrape it off. But it's marked sterling on the inside. Right there. Sterling. So it's silver. So I got some gold today. Now a silver ring. I keep working my way the rest of the way down this curve strip till I get on the other side of where that red car is is where they end, so see if I can get anything else. Some of them big trees down that way, so maybe some good stuff underneath of them. But I'll get back to you if I get anything else. Alright. <clears throat> Alright folks, to end of this video, I wanted to add uh, a little bit on all the trash that I find. As uh, in my videos, you normally only see the good stuff. And this is all the stuff you don't see that I dig. And yeah, all, all this is nails, keys pieces of watch, pool tabs, pieces of copper and brass piping, just all the junk that I pull from the spots I'm at, big pieces of iron, cards, weights, all different kinds of things, and uh, clad, <laughs> there's so much clad, um, a few interesting finds from my last few hunts, is I found this buckle part of a buckle a while back. Oh, that was pretty cool. Find my fair share of bullets. Oh. Some bullets here. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese token I found the other day at the park where I found the gold. This too was in the tot lot. Both of these were in the tot lot where I found the gold. The U.S. presidential dollar coin. Uh, this is the head stamp from the curb strip in front of the church from my past video. I think it's a Winchester. Yeah, Winchester. Oh. Um, with all the clad, all the iron junk, and even more clad and junk in this little bag. I normally just fill up one of these bags with all my stuff after I've looked through it to make sure I didn't miss any good finds that I may have put it as garbage. But, uh, I want to include this in the end of the video just to show, man, to find the finds that I get, you gotta dig it all. <laughs> everything you know something like this little bit here will ring up really high and good and if you don't dig it you never know you could be missing a silver or this this was ringing up like a half dollar dollar you know pieces of glass find digging holes always a good sign though but this is all the trash from my last few hunts just thought I'd include it just to show you. You gotta dig it all to get the good stuff. So, hope you enjoy the video. Like it, subscribe, comment, share it, and uh, there'll be more to come. Alright, till next time.